I am Janice Robinson with the Volunteer Involvement Program here in Atlanta. And I wanted to give a tribute to one of my favorite organizations, House Proud Atlanta. House Proud provides no-cost repairs to low-income seniors in the greater, greater Atlanta area. And what I like about them is the fact that they provide a seamless volunteer opportunity. You go there, you walk in the door, and they give you the materials that you need so that you can do a fantastic job. And at the end of the experience, you walk away and you see the impact that you've made. Uh, I was attracted to them because I really have a passion for seniors. And so I figured that this is an opportunity for me to go out and do something meaningful here in the area. And uh, how I stayed engaged is because once I'm there with the organization, I get to really meet the seniors, engage with their families, and to learn more about them. And again, like I said earlier, I'm able to walk away and see the difference that I made. That's why I love House Proud Atlanta. My name is Jason Kane. I work at Buckhead Church right here in the Atlanta area. And I was approached by Reggie to share what are some of the things that we do to recruit volunteers within our ministry context. I'm just sharing two simple things that we do. First, we don't call our volunteers volunteers. We call them leaders. Uh, just that simple change in vocabulary helps us to get people who are high caliber, high capacity folks who we think can make a difference uh, within our ministry context. The second thing we do that I think, think adds so much value is making sure that when we're asking people to step up and lead, that we don't lead with telling them about a need, but we lead with vision. Again, we don't lead by telling them about a need, we lead with vision. Uh, easy example of this is uh, within our um, Wombaland, which is preschool to first grade, what we do within that ministry when we're looking for leaders is we don't stand up in front of the church and say, hey, we need somebody to be in our three-year-old room. We've got a lot of three-year-olds that don't have a volunteer in the room with them and we need somebody to come watch them. No, that's not how we approach it. But we stand up on stage and we say, hey, each week we're teaching our three-year-olds all about God's love. And we would love for some of you to step up and lead, to share and partner with us in telling our three-year-olds how much God loves them on a weekly basis. If you think you can step up and lead these three-year-olds we would love to meet you right out in the lobby to give you more details and we keep it very brief we show people that yes we need you to lead but we also don't express that there is a strong need and what I mean by that is we're asking people in a passionate way to partner with us in leading our three-year-olds we don't just want people who can sit in a classroom uh, who think it's babysitting but we honestly need a leader that can teach our three-year-olds all about God's love. So two things that we do is we call people leaders and not volunteers. The second thing we do is we lead with vision and we don't lead with need. Uh, another example of this is within our high school ministry right now, we're recruiting leaders as we're going into a new school year. Uh, we recruit these leaders in May. It's a busy season for us. And this past Sunday in service, we showed a video of our high schoolers talking about the impact that their small group leaders had, have had on their lives. Uh, we got some seniors. We showed, um, we filmed them just talking about the great um, leaders that they were connected to over the last four years and the impact that's had over their lives. After that video, we said, hey, if you want to have an impact that goes beyond just your ordinary everyday life, why don't you partner with us in leading our high school students? That's what we do. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck to y'all. Not good luck to y'all. I'm praying for y'all over at Impact as y'all look to lead, uh, lead our church and lead our city in a way that y'all are uniquely needed to do so. Thank y'all for what y'all do. Thank you, Pastor Olu. Have a good one.